Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. Today is going to be a bit different. I'm not going to show video clips. I'm not going to go off on the Republicans. I'm not going to go off on the Democrats or anything like that. I will let you guys know to start off with that there is a lot of House um, support as well as, I think, 27 members of the Democratic Congress that is trying to back a fourth stimulus check for two thousand dollars or a or that's just one part of it or basically they want to try to push a two thousand dollar second stimulus check as well as a thousand dollars a month um until this pandemic is over but we'll see what happens with that because they said there's only 27 democrats in senate that actually is behind this the others i think are just you know a bit you know not ready just quite yet for it and I know I know a few of them they're probably not gonna do it I mean Christian Christian cinema as well as uh mansion Joe mansion are probably not gonna want to do that because they represent Republican states but they said no 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 talk about stimulus checks or Republicans and Democrats this is actually just an introduction to me the creator of this channel I mean as you know I am the creator of not just this one channel I'm the creator of three different YouTube channels. The three YouTube channels are, well, it are basically the one that this video is on, which is RTD Inc., which is basically an acronym for Rust the Destroyer. That's a nickname my nephew gave me, God, back in 2018 after my fiance died. And at the time, it sort of fit. But as time went on, I wanted to change it. That's why I put RTD Inc. instead. Is to shorten it down. But here, let me give you a little insight about me here. I am actually 48 years old. I work in logistics in a warehouse where I boringly repackage uh, Napa products. The quick, the, and if you're wondering, oh, well, if you repackage Napa products, does she actually use Napa products? The answer is no, I don't. I've actually done my research on Napa. And Napa is actually known to buy their their actual car parts at a higher price so they can charge you more money for it. And you can actually look it up online on Google or Safari if you have Apple. But um, the basic says that they do buy their car parts for more expensive th than the other places do, even though the other place actually is the exact same car part. I mean, for instance, I actually bought a ball joint for the front of my car and as I looked up on Napa's website it was like sixty sixty five dollars for this ball joint and I went to advanced auto parts here where I'm at and it cost me like forty bucks so that's not that bad that's actually a pretty good price it's actually a very good ball joint I bet you and they said the exact same one would cost me a bit more from, from Napa and I don't think it's really worth it but he said so, you know, but I actually don't support Napa either, to say I don't really support the Republicans, but different story, different topic, you know. <clears throat> I've lived here in Utah for, oh my God, 47, well, actually, might as well say 48 years, as of May 20, as of May 25th, 48 years. Um, the state's sort of interesting at best, sort of boring, at least I think it is, I mean, I go up in the canyons and well, they're actually pretty, but it's, I also find it boring and tedious to go up there because there's really nothing to do up there. It's just look around and leave. And like I said, I mean, I, I'm the creator of this channel, which is RTD Inc. I'm also the creator of another channel called Russ's Reviews, which I do game preview reviews and movie reviews on. I even did a, a, uh, a food review on there as well. Well, you guys might saw it on this channel as well, because I did it at the end of a video. It was the one I did for the um, candy canes, the cinnamon um, root beer and butterscotch candy canes. And then I also have uh, TikTokin. That's T I. It's all capital. It's T I K T O K apostrophe N. And what I don't do on that one is I, I actually do go on the social media app TikTok and I actually find a lot of funny stuff on there. And I take it off there and, and I patch it all together and I put it as one whole video on that page for your amusement. So hopefully whoever sees this might want to actually 
go uh, check out my other pages and see if, who's up there with the likes. And if you have a problem finding the TikTok in one, which I know you will, because it's very hard to find, um, just drop me a line in my comment se section and I will send you a link to one of the videos so you can check it out and see if it's worth your time. But a little bit more about me, like I said, I mean, it. I'm almost 49. I'll be 49 in May. I've worked at my current job for almost two years. And it's boring at best, but hey, right now it pays the bills and that's all that matters. I've also done concrete work, construction work, and awnings. I assisted my best friend in doing a side job of building a 13 foot tall outdoor fireplace. That actually turned out really nice. Um, I, my, I have very few friends here in Utah, just because I don't really socialize that much with the LDS religion around here because it's sort of stuck up and snobby. And it's, it's funny because that's only here in Utah. You go to other states and you talk to a Mormon and they are so cool. Here in Utah, it's like they're just closed. If you're not part of their clique, you're not, you don't want to talk to you. They won't talk to you at all because they're just closed minded. And let's see here. I've also worked in a lot of food industry. I've actually done, you'd be surprised, I've actually worked at like, I'm not sure remember them if they were in your, in your states or not, but I've worked at like Blimpies. I've worked at Quiznos. I've also worked at European Connections. I've worked at uh, Tonoma's Steakhouse. I've worked at Walter's Osteria, which was a very expensive, fine dining Italian restaurant. And I got to admit, that actually wasn't that bad of a job. It was just towards the end when the person they used to replace me with um, quit and they want to come back to they came back to me and said, well, we're taking your promotion, your raise away. And we're taking back down to this amount of wage that you started at. Well, okay, after I got like two raises, of course. Because I stayed, like I said, I was there for like almost three, four years. And uh, when they did that, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Um, not You gave me a $1.50 uh, raise and a promotion, and now you're stripping me of both those just because the new help you hired quit because you made fun of him. I was like, no, I'm not staying any longer then. I actually quit that job. I mean, I sort of regret it in a way because it was a nice uh, experience. I probably could have moved up to be become something more than I was there as I was trying. But, eh, you know, shit happens. I mean, and let's see here. I've, I've worked at a lot of restaurants here in Utah. I mean, there's some good ones out here and there's some bad ones out here. I've, like I said, I've worked in construction. Not like on the high, t the high tower buildings, but in like um, residential construction. And I've also gone out, gone on to Wyoming to do the same thing for a company here in Utah for a few days. And all in all, I actually had some fun. I actually enjoyed all the jobs I've done. I've learned a lot of experiences. And like I said, I don't have a lot of friends here. I have, I think, I think two or three friends here. And one of them's my best friend. I've known him for almost 20 years. He's actually a very good guy. His wife, on the other hand, is, she does not like me or any of his friends at all. So... I don't really know what to say about that. But like I said, this is an introduction to me. If you want me to, if you want to introduce yourself to me and let me know about you, let me know. Be Hit that comment bar and, and just chat away. I don't mind. But before I continue on and make this a half hour long video, which I don't want to do, I mean, is that probably bore you to death out of you? Which I'm sorry if I do. Um, I'm going to actually wish you guys a good evening, a happy Friday, and please stay safe out there. Until the next video, have a great night. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party. I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in